First question. Was there a game or a series that inspired you to make games? Uh, well, I got inspired to make horror games from, believe it or not, games that weren't really meant to be horror games, like ones that had spooky atmosphere, just weren't meant to be scary. Mainly from like old games like 40 Wings or the Mad Monster Mansion level from Banjo. Banjo-Kazooie. These low poly games, they kind of had, you know, like spooky levels and shit, and that kind of inspired me to make these low poly games. Second question. If horror didn't exist, what would your games be about? Uh, they'd probably be adventure games. You know, that's kind of what I made back then. Kind of what I'd make now if horror games didn't exist. Third question. Will there be more games? Well, of course, yeah. Why the hell not? I'm posting a lot of progress update videos recently. I'm coming out with the next DLC for 3 and the Krusty Krab at the moment. So yeah. Fourth question. When will Strange Terror from Beyond the Stars Enhanced Edition come out? Probably next year, I'm thinking. Fifth question. How did you learn Unreal Engine so fast? If I can recommend any videos, well, I mean, I wouldn't say I learned it so fast. It took me a while, you know, a couple months, a year, probably a year, I'd say, before I got the hang of it. And I don't really know any videos I could tell you that I know of. Are you a fan of Super Smash Brothers or any Nintendo franchise? Well, yeah, I actually kind of am. I love Smash Brothers. But obviously, I don't own a Switch, so I can't get the newest one that's coming out. But yeah, I friggin' loved it. Seventh question: What's your favorite character from Six Minute Chum Bucket? Fuck, I hate this game. Uh, I guess I'd say SpongeBob. I liked SpongeBob. That was an interesting one. It scared the shit out of a lot of YouTubers. Eighth question: How effective is microwaving games? I don't know about you, but I think it's a pretty effective way of making games. Ninth question, how come Door is Dead is the only game you made that has a game over screen? Actually, I don't really know. That's kind of weird. I guess I just found it suitable for that game and never found it suitable for another. Tenth question, what do you think of games like Bendy, Boldy, FNAF, or F13, The Game, or Dead by Daylight, etc.? Well, f**k Bendy, Boldy's alright. FNAF, and Dead by Daylight, I love that game. Eleventh question, why do you often reply to everyone's comments? I don't know actually, just I feel obligated to sometimes, but I'm kind of training myself to stop doing it all the damn time. It really, uh, really gets to me after a while. Twelfth question, are you good at video games? Of course, yeah. <laughs> Thirteenth, uh, question, do you love to make horror games? Yeah, I mean, it's my favorite genre, that's why I've been making all these horror games, I just, I love to make them. Fourteenth question, Six name at the Chum Bucket, why did Karen kill Plankton? Well, I don't really know what her motive was, other than, I guess, just to kill him for some reason, I didn't really have an idea why. Fifteenth question, why did you decide to have a microwave on your head? Well, uh, makes sense with the name Dave, so, uh, Dave Microwave. <laughs> Sixteenth question, why did you choose Blender over other 3D modeling software such as Maya? I just kinda liked Blender, I don't know, it was free, it was simple, and I just got the hang of it so I felt no reason to use another software. Seventeenth question, what's your favorite old school game console? That's actually kind of a tough one to be honest, I'd probably say either the PS2 or the PS1. Those two consoles, I friggin love them. Those are really good. Eighteenth question, do you plan on making non-horror games? I kind of want to, but I don't know if I will. I don't know. Nineteenth question, can you make your head transform into something else? Well, why? Why would I do that? Why? A microwave is perfect. Twentieth <laughs> question, what's your favorite color? Green, I guess. Yeah. Twenty-first question, do you plan on making animations for doors with an added creaking sound? Probably, yeah. I think I would do that eventually. I just felt so lazy, I always make it just a static, like, flip open animation. 22nd question. What games do you plan other than your own game? What? What? I don't get it. I don't get it. 23rd question. <laughs> do you think your games will ever be taken down by a big corporation? Well, as long as my parody games remain as a parody game and I don't really violate any sort of, like, copyright or, like, shit like that, I think it should be fine honestly. 24th question, why did you add yourself to Strange Terror from Beyond the Stars? 
I don't know, I guess I just thought it'd be funny to add myself. 25th question. Out of all the parody horror games you made, which one is your favorite? Definitely Scooby Horror, without a doubt. Well, that's the end of the Q&A. I hope you enjoyed. I didn't really enjoy it. I thought it fucking sucked, but it was uh, pretty good, I guess.